just exactly who owns Alaska? I've seen a lot of crazy answers to that question, including Mexico. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's not Mexico. Uh, before we get into the Western countries that have laid claim to the last frontier, first I would like to acknowledge the native peoples of Alaska who have lived here for between 10 and 15,000 years. I live in Anchorage, which is part of the traditional lands of the Denina people. Alaska was extensively explored and mapped by different countries, leaving behind descendants, place names, churches, and landmarks. Russia, Spain, England, they were all major players in the 18th century. And on top of that, Alaska shares a 1,538 mile long border with Canada. But no, we're not Canadian. Vitus Bering, although he was Danish, explored and claimed Alaska for the Russians on an expedition here in 1741. Place names honoring him include the Bering Sea, Bering Strait, Bering Glacier, and Bering Island, among others. Bering Island was named after him after he died there, supposedly of scurvy. Ugh scurvy. In 1775, the Spaniards took a stab at a land grab in Alaska, but they had to give it up to, guess what? Scurvy. So British explorer Captain James Cook sailed to Alaska in 1778 in search of the Northwest Passage. He filled in significant blanks on the maps, leaving behind his own place names like Prince William Sound, English Bay, and hmm, don't know how he came up with this one, the Cook Inlet. Just 37 years after Bering died here, Cook was credited with solving the problem of scurvy through good nutrition. Although Cook managed to avoid the ravages of scurvy, he was unable to survive the wrath of the Hawaiian people later on the same voyage. The United States purchased Alaska from Russia in 1867 for the grand price of $7.2 million, about two and a half cents an acre. Secretary of State William H. Seward, in charge of the purchase, was ridiculed for this. They called it Seward's Folly or Seward's icebox, but it proved over and over to be a worthy investment. So now, who really owns Alaska today? Well, from the latest figures I can find, 58.6 of Alaska is owned still by the U.S. federal government. That acreage works out to a larger landmass than Washington, Oregon, and California combined. 28.5% of Alaska is owned by the state of Alaska, and 12.5% of the land is owned by native corporations. That land was included as part of the Native Claims Settlement Act in 1971. So are you doing the math? What does that leave left for people like me? Less than 1% of the land in Alaska is privately owned. So when you come to Alaska, you will be speaking English, you'll be using the American dollar, and you will find national parks, state parks, untouched forests, and other wild protected spaces here that are locked hand in hand even with the largest cities. That includes the park that I'm here in today. This is known as the Campbell Creek Estuary and it's part of the Anchorage Coastal Wildlife Refuge. I will hope to see you in one of these wild spaces in the near future right here in Alaska, the 49th state of the United States.